Hey how's it going everyone? In this video we are going to optimize Grand Theft Auto 5. This video will help you guys achieve the best FPS possible, reducing stuttering, freezing, or any issues you are experiencing, while having decent quality graphics. This video will have the best tweaks for low-end, medium, high-end, old, or newer machines, and it also works for GTA Online, 5M, Story Mode, and other multiplayer modes as well. Whether you're running the game on Steam, Epic, Rockstar, or the pirated version, this will definitely increase your FPS if you follow the steps correctly, so make sure to stick with the video until the end. But before we get started, the most importantly is that your drivers needs to be up to date. This will help you to improve your overall system performance, especially graphic drivers. Also, please do not install Windows optional driver updates. Unless you are having issues with the device, there is no need for you to install it. So let's jump into the video. Let's start with some of the major window settings. So in settings, navigate to system, then scroll down and click on about. Then click advanced system settings, then click on settings under performance. After that, and tick all the options except show thumbnails and smooth edges. Once you've done that, click apply and click OK. Again click OK. Then click home to go back, and navigate to the gaming section. Then make sure to turn off Xbox Game Bar and untick this box as well. After that navigate to the game mode, and turn on game mode. Then again go to the home, and finally navigate to the privacy section. Then scroll down to the bottom, and click on background apps. Then make sure to turn off let apps run in the background. Next, we are going to verify the GTA 5 game files to fix various types of issues, as well as make sure that the game and supporting files are up to date. To do that, you need to open the launcher where you downloaded GTA 5. So for me, it's Epic Games. Once you open that, go to the library section. Then click on this three dots on GTA 5. And click on manage. Then you can see here the option to verify files. So click on verify. Then it will start to verify the files from 0 to 100%. And this will take at least 20 minutes to verify the files. So once it's done, restart the launcher. Next we are going to disable GTA 5's full screen optimizations and set its graphic preference to high. So in the launcher, click on these three dots and navigate to the installed file location. Then right click on GTA 5 application and click on properties. Then navigate to compatibility and tick disable full screen optimizations as well as high DPI scaling. Once you've done that click OK. Then click apply and OK. Now do the same thing for the GTA 5 launcher application. After that, copy this location path from the top. Then go to the search bar and type graphics settings. And open it. Then click on browse. And paste the location path that we copied earlier. Then select GTA 5 application and click on add. After that click on options. Then select high performance. And click save. Next, we are going to customize the GTA 5 config file settings. So go to this PC, then go to Documents, then go to Rockstar Games, then go to GTA 5 folder. Now you need to edit the settings file, but before we do it, we need to save this file to our desktop, because if something goes wrong with the edited file, we can replace that with our default file. So simply right click on it, and click copy, then paste it to the desktop. Now right click on settings file and open it with notepad. So the first thing we are going to change is shadow quality. If your shadow quality value is 1, that is the lowest quality in the game which is the normal. So changing this value to 0 will completely remove shadows in the game which gives a big performance boost. Here is a comparison between the with shadows and without the shadows. So if your PC is struggling to run the game, I highly recommend disabling shadows, this will definitely increase your FPS. After that, scroll down a little bit until you see the shadow distance value. This is also the same thing as shadow quality. Whatever the value you have here, change it to zero. Once you've done that, again scroll down a little bit, and find this system section. First, change the bytes per replay block value to 9, double 8, and for zeros. Then change the replay blocks value to 128. And then change the size of streaming replay value to 2048. And lastly, change the file store size value to 95,536. 
so these settings will load GTA 5 much faster, as well as in-game pop-ups. Once you're done with this, click on File, and click Save. Then close the notepad. Next, download my GTA 5 pack from the description. Then extract the file using 7-zip or WinRAR, and open it. Go to the first file. First of all we need to create a restore point, so double click on this. Then select your system drive and click configure. And make sure the system protection is turned on. After that click on create. And name it to whatever you like. It will take around 30 seconds to create the restore point. And when it's done, we can continue with the tweaks. So what you need to do is double click on a registry file. And click yes to apply it. Also, if you want to know about the tweak, right click on that registry file and click edit. On top, I have briefly explained what it does and how it affects the PC. So make sure to check this on every registry tweak before applying it. Also, if you want to apply all of these tweaks at once, simply double click on quick apply. Once you've done that restart your PC, and then move on to the second folder. Win32 priority separation determines how much CPU time is allocated to different types of processes. So here I have explained about these folders, but I recommend you to watch this video to fully understand Win32 priority separation. This will increase your FPS by 10 to 20%. Third folder is CMD commands. Open the dynamic tick document. This feature is enabled by default on Windows operating systems to save power, but you need to disable it. Furthermore, I wouldn't recommend disabling dynamic tick on normal laptops unless you have a gaming laptop. So what you need to do is copy the first command and open CMD as administrator. Then paste the command and hit enter. And do the same thing for the other command as well. Once you are done, you need to restart your PC in order to apply the commands. After that open the power plan text file. I strongly advise using this on high-end computers only, and not on laptops. Also, use this power plan only on games. Switch to a different power plan if you're doing other simple day-to-day -day tasks. So what you need to do is copy this command, and paste it into the command prompt as admin, and click enter. After that, search for power plan on the Windows search bar. Then open it, go to power options, and then select ultimate performance. Next, go to the command line parameters folder. Inside of it, you'll see three folders. Simply click on the corresponding folder that matches your desired FPS and specs. For most people, I would recommend choosing the third folder. Inside of it, you need to copy and paste these two files to the game directory. So right click on it and copy the two files. Then minimize the folder and navigate to the file location where you installed GTA. Then paste that to files here. Once you've done that, boot into the game and check if it gives you better performance, if not, test the other two files. And if you wanted to know what these command lines do, simply click on about the command line text document. I have placed this in the other two folders as well, so do check it out if you are going to use them. Also, I have put some additional command lines in here. You can add these to the command line text document and test them out as well. Once you're done with that, move on to the fifth folder. Inside of here, you can see to registry keys, which are normal and high. By default, this will be normal priority. So we need to apply the high priority registry key. Clicking on high priority will give GTA 5 more system resources, like CPU time and memory, allowing it to run faster. Now the last folder is cleanups. Inside of it, you'll see five batch files. These batch scripts will remove all the unnecessary data that is left on your PC. Simply right click on a batch file and run it as admin. When it's done, click any key to exit it out, and do the same thing for the other batch files as well. Also, make sure to clean up your disk as well. Next up, delete in-game benchmark tests if you're done with them. Open this PC, and go to Documents, then Rockstar Games, then go to GTA 5 folder, and open Benchmark folder. Now delete all the benchmark text documents if you have them here. And don't forget to delete from recycle bin as well. Lastly, we are going to see best in game settings. So in settings, go to graphics option. If you have an old or low end PC, use the 10 or 10.1 DirectX version. And for those who have medium specs, I recommend you to test out both the DX10 and 11 versions. For screen type, use full screen to get the best performance. And use windowed borderless if you're multitasking. For resolution, 
Use these recommended options according to your PC specs. For me, I'm going to use 1280 by 720. For refresh rate, select the highest number you have. After that, turn off FXA. Then turn off VSync. Then lower population density and variety all the way down. Then change all these quality options to normal. For soft shadows, select sharp. This setting actually has a slight difference in FPS compared to the other shadow options. Then post FX to normal. Another useful setting for low-end machines is frame scaling mode in advanced graphics. This allows you to adjust the scale of the resolution without changing the actual resolution setting. So the lowest value will give you the best performance, but it will reduce the quality of the game. So if you want more performance, you can scale it down. Here are my recommended options for performance and with a decent quality. Test these two options and select the one that you like.